What's up everybody? This is Ty Smith HHO for Life. Um, I wanted to show you guys my design for my valve setup that I'm putting on the lawnmower here. Um, this is it. This is what I came up with. Okay. This is the mounting bracket right there that's going to mount to the uh, lawnmower right here where you see those two bolts. It's the mounting bracket that the carburetor used to go to. And then I just got one of the, uh, um, the gas, a piece of the gasket material um, that you can buy at Lowe's to make your own gaskets with and put that there so that I have a, so that it seals off once I tighten it up. So this is a half inch flange. This is a mounting flange so you can mount it into the ground um, is all it is. And I had to drill holes into it right here to uh, make it so that it is even with the uh, holes on the uh, um, lawnmower. So the mounting bracket for the lawnmower. And then next what I have is I have a uh, half inch pipe nipple. It's a half inch by two inch pipe nipple and I did that so that I could put some pliers here to tighten it up good and nice. Um, and then I have a, a half inch P PVC T that's threaded on all ends. Um, right here at the top I have a half inch um, nipple. It's, it's a half inch pipe thread to half inch barbed fitting. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it very well with the sun. but. And then I have a uh, half inch by, uh, I think it's an inch and a half um, nipple right here, and then my half inch ball valve. Um, so it's open right now, and when you turn it, that direction it closes, so. That's what I have. Um, I'm gonna mount it up here. Let me see if I can find a place to set my camera. Um, <clears throat> there we go. Let me set it on this bottle. You can see this is what I've been using. There hasn't been any sludge collecting in the bottom, even when I ran it dry. So, I don't know, maybe you don't need too much heat to vaporize out. Like I said, I haven't really ever had much of a problem with the collecting sludge. Of course, the mounts that I've used have been pretty small, but still, there's like no residue left um, so let's see what I can do to get a good angle when I'm doing this I don't know if this will work or not but I need a camera holder if I had somebody to hold my camera then that would be much better but it's not to work for now So I have to hold these bolts in place when I put this flange on here so that they don't come out. And then I'm gonna get my, these are quarter inch bolts. Um, and I have quarter inch, I have quarter inch uh, stop nuts right here, or lock nuts. I'm gonna put on there. So I'm gonna start this one to hold that bolt on, and then we'll start the other one. So it's gonna be a little bit more of a bugger. It's such a tight space. There we go. All right, now it's time to tighten her up. Got my good old trusty ratchet here. Tighten that side too much before tightening this one. Well, it was a good trusty ratchet. Um, it's not going to fit in there though. I need an extension. Uh, let me go grab an extension real quick, and I don't even know if that's going to work actually. Yeah, we'll see what we can do to make it work. I'll be right back. Got my quarter, 
Not a quarter inch. Yeah, I think it is a quarter inch extension. Um, so, 